Stay close, stay with hope. It's not gone till we let it roll away. Break new ground. Discover more at Ariat.com. So we're here at the Babington Lake, which is fence 21 ABC and fence 22 on the course. Um, Piggy, you've ridden here quite a few times. You must have some other amazing memories from this place. Yeah, I do. Um... I haven't actually competed at badminton very much, probably a lot less than some people might think. Um, and so I think probably maybe six, six, six or seven times in total. And it's either been very good or very bad. And actually driving round back up from the middle intense bit, I, I said to Eric, I've walked back up here quite a few times from either falling off, um, falling off, really. So, um, yeah, I think I've fallen here three times and not made it through the final vets inspection or I've been first, second and fourth and 37th. So, um, yeah, I've got some, you know, it's all great memories, you know, and you learn so much from even the not so so good it makes you as a rider and makes you hungry to get back here but you appreciate more over the years when you do get here and you complete it and then you get some results it's it's a amazing um amazing achievement can you remember your first badminton here yeah very very much so it was the long format days i can't remember what year and i was 21 and it was it was really wet a really really wet year and I think I was one of the last few to go just before they took out a few jumps um, but I had a great Irish horse called Flintlock and um, we'd grown up together on the hunting field and um, it was the long format days we'd done the steeplechase and the roads and tracks and everything and he just chugged on through and what a sweet horse I've still got a very big picture in our house on a big canvas of jumping into the lake here, which was actually a bounce of rails. My face looked absolutely terrified, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's amazing. And this year, actually, you know, we got quite an old-fashioned feel to it again, um, which takes us back a takes us back a few years. So um, yeah, but oh, it's such an incredible place, and this will be a great spectacle for people all sat around here and cheering everyone on. So we're looking forward to it. And um, Piggy, you're going to go and have a look now at that combination for us. Cool. Um, so now we're at the famous lake fence, and this year you're not going to be disappointed with what you've got. I think you gallop up here to fence 21, which is the a very big corner, big brush corner that you've got that certainly needs a lot of respect and will get the horse very much up into the air. Then you want to really sit up afterwards and make sure that you get the horse back onto the hop, really get this turn. There's not a lot of room, but you've got to balance them, get their back on the hock to turn to a very old fashioned rail. We haven't seen rails into the lake for years. So it is, it does have a very different feel to it. And I think you want to use this turn to get your horses onto the hocks back again so that you can ride back up to this rail. I know they're gonna, you know, when it's time to dress the fence, there's gonna be um, flowers or more filling in the bottom of it, which will make it a lot more of an inviting fence. It's got quite a decent drop on it, but I think it sets the tone. You've got a very big corner in the water and I think you wanna still get a positive good jump in to land and ride up to again a very big corner in the water you don't want to be negative and backward into here it will be interesting seeing it when it's all dressed up for the time of the competition but it should be a fair question but you'll just still need a bit of power and the right balance you don't want to come into there long and flat you don't want to come into there backward and negative 
and you've got to be strong in your body. You can't be tired as a rider at this stage. You've got to be strong in your body to have got a good jump in, to sit up, use your eye, move on up for the corner, turn out of the water and back round we go and you're on the home run now. It's an amazing feeling to get through the lake at Badminton and hopefully get through it well. The crowd really support you, you get a great cheer and it's some buzz. I think it's a serious fence and needs a lot of respect.